Hello everyone, how are we doing? Welcome back to another episode of my Crybaby Worms Legacy Challenge. This is episode 21. We're just here with Grace who has started a brand new hobby as per some suggestions I received. Thank you very much. Um, Grace has actually started knitting and we thought this was a good idea for her to kind of use her creativity. She is creative, um, a creative sim um and it is a good like little hobby for her to have and it also is another like sort of lifestyle she can do a lifestyle review of it and an idea um was that she could kind of sell her clothes that she makes as merch almost and i just thought this was an excellent idea like with her to be an aspiring influencer she's like yeah i want to sell these clothes i'll make them and sell them um, so I'm gonna hope she likes them. I know she's feeling a little bit uncomfortable from her cheap bed So hopefully she doesn't get a pop-up to dislike it um, But her needs are doing really well. All of the kids are up. Alexis is doing a painting She's getting ready for her final ever day of school today. So she is feeling pretty amazing I think she is still technically scared of failing classes, but we do have the exams today So I think when she gets to school she will focus on studying a little bit whereas her sister probably will focus a little bit less the girls have arrived at school and i worked out the issue with the teachers so they will have at teachers today um as i mentioned alexis is going to go study she knows it is her final final chance to make sure she like actually gets to graduate she doesn't fail the year and have to retake high school i know in game you wouldn't but like for the story's sake she's worried that she'd have to um she is a people person apparently okay that I mean, that kind of surprises me, but fair enough. Um, but yeah, she is going to do some studying while Grace is over here. She has joined the T-Pose Challenge. Her friend Lyric um, was doing one. She saw this as the perfect opportunity. Um, I think I did make the club in the last episode, but I did give her friends a little bit of makeovers just so they'd look quite cute. And interestingly, so she's got a crush on Alison. We knew that in the last episode. She sees her as attractive, but she actually finds all her friends extremely attractive or very attractive. Um, so love that for her. She just she just likes everyone, which is great. So this is part of her aspiration. So I think afterwards we will have a chat with Lyric. Maybe as well I'll kind of like, you know, just take photos with her friends. Be like, I just want to post these on social media to kind of also increase her friendship. I don't know if she's gonna end up making ten friends, but you know she's gonna she's gonna make her best effort. She does want to be an influencer, so she needs to like make the most of her name. And I feel like Lyric isn't gonna stop doing that, so we'll have to um we'll have to take a photo with another friend. I think one of my absolute favorite poses. Um, we'll get Grace to take this photo with Blair. This is one of her friends. Hopefully that'll increase her friendship. It actually did. Um, why don't we gossip a little bit? Grace is definitely a gossip. I would definitely see her being a gossip. Um, so she's gossiping about death. Apparently the uh, head teacher doesn't like her very much. She doesn't like her, which does not surprise me at all. Um, what does she actually want to do? She wants to chat with other students. Well, I mean, you technically are doing that. So, oh my gosh, she's now got a crush on Blair. Is she actually just going to have a crush on all of her friends? Um, she does see Blair as very attractive. I think it was Lyric she sees extremely attractive, who is over here um, still doing the T-Pose challenge. Um, she was able to get that ticked off and what does she want to do attend or she she wants to attend class she does actually want to attend class which is great so we will let her do that and um we oh look at her going off to take herself to class by herself that's great she is the first one in she is keen i love that for her this computer science question is a two-parter first it asks you to write your name in binary then it asks you to write a program to convert every name that the program is given into binary rely on programming skill or wing it well she has no programming skill so she is gonna wing it um and it says alexis trusted in fate to deliver her an answer to this tough exam question but fate failed her staring at her finished answer alexis knows that she's got no chance of being right small luck based exam boost so what is she she's going no don't go research your genealogy go back to class go take the exam go grace is going to freshen up Okay, I would expect this of her, but come on, you've got an exam to take. I know you're not, like, too fussed about school. Although, her friend Lyric is over here, so maybe you can actually go gossip with her and take a photo instead. Well, she probably should go to class, but, you know, she, she was the one who chose to leave. 
I don't know why Alexis did. Alexis needs to try a bit harder. Um, she has come come back to class. She's like, maybe I should actually take this exam. Whereas, um, here we go. She finds Lyric super attractive. So we are going to take a nice little photo with her as well. I heard Alexis might be a new parent in a few months. I can't believe you're gossiping about your sister like that. I, I, I can't believe it. You know she's not dating anyone. Um, but Grace, oh, she her exam finishes in 10 minutes. So we'll just leave it and we'll go to the one in the afternoon. That's fine. What we'll do is we'll just have a bit of a gossip again as i said before i think grace is definitely a gossip um why don't you claim to be prom royalty even though you're not even going to this prom she's like yeah if i were not i would definitely win don't you think looks like grace just befriended an egotistical sim egotistical sims have high standards and even higher opinions of themselves they often seek to flaunt their wealth and possessions and demand the best out of every experience in terms of sim preference would you say that grace likes egotistical sims oh she would she would and look at this She's got a crush on another friend. I am just not surprised at all at this point. I reckon she likes, she's going to have a crush on all of them by the end of this. But I kind of prefer her having a crush on Lyric just because she finds her extremely attractive. And apparently they've got good compatibility. Well, I suppose she did just like get a pop up to say that she likes her, which great. Um, Why don't you go? Um, oh, it's all free. Yes, definitely go get a fried chicken slider and Alexis, you should probably also come and grab some food. Lyric wants to be Grace's best friend. Okay, yes, I quite like that. Yeah, her and Lyric can be best friends, even though she does have like a crush on her. That's fine. And now look, she's got a crush on Alison. Literally, she has a crush on absolutely everyone. I've just realised we've got two friends called Alison. <laughs> I hadn't worked that out um, beforehand. We're going to take a photo with more friends now. I just want her to become friends with her actual friends. And this is the quickest way to do it. Um, and it increases her photography skill. Well, she's not really got a photography skill at the moment. But that's fine, you know? Time to go back to class. I think Grace is actually going to attend her exam at this time, which is good. She did it all of her own accord. Um, uh, Alexis is going to stop doing her homework. She didn't get to finish it. I didn't expect her to be able to. Um, but she is, you know, she's going to do her best and try, try and do well in this exam. She's feeling pretty tense right now, but that's okay. She has also got a sentiment with her sister by the looks of it. She's hurt because Grace said that, um, said that rumour about her. Bless her. We need to post on social money. For some reason, that just was like playing up for me before. So if I clicked a new post, for example, about a new best friend. Um, oh, now it's coming up okay that was weird it wasn't working earlier <laughs> grace decided to move seats right at the end of the exams i don't know if she's going to do very well in this one i'm really hoping that alexis will i don't know if it'll be enough for her to like boost her her grade but i don't think she really cares about that she just didn't want to fail um but there we go i think it's the end of the school day we're gonna get the pop up to say how we did grace failed her exam and Alexis had a rough exam day. Oh my gosh. So Grace actually failed, which I mean, I'm not really surprised to be honest. She flunked that. But Alexis, that's a shame. She did try her best. Um, but prom is coming up. As I say, that will be Alexis going to prom. But you know, she she's she's feeling a little bit tense from her poor exam skill. But you know, she passed. She didn't fail at least, which is always positive. Um, so I'm going to let her use the bathroom and kind of get on with her own thing while I have Grace become friends with her friends. She's going to go watch a funny video with Lyric, who is her best friend that she finds super attractive. <laughs> there is a fight going on. Um, I didn't realise this was happening until I, Alexis cancelled her interaction that I'd set up. Um, I'm not too sure who is fighting. I think it's Lyric who is the girl that Grace is massively crushing on. Um, her new best friend and I don't know who she's fighting this girl with green hair by the looks of it Oh, uh, I was not expecting this. Okay. This is definitely something that Grace can post onto social bunny This is a long fight. Who is gonna win this? I kind of hope our friend will but um, and also Alexis is like right in the middle of this fight I'm a little bit worried for her. Oh, no, our friend didn't win. Kennedy won instead. That's a shame Grace, why don't you come and comfort your friend? Um, come here and let's no, let's just share some ideas with her about how you can embarrass that girl. <laughs> embarrass the one who, like, embarrassed her. We'll open our social bunny as well and post about the school fight. Let's let's do an energised post. This is what I mean. Now it's not working. I don't understand. Okay, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But Jasmine got a promotion. Amazing. Well done, Jasmine. Um, and, oh, she's going to come and rant about her stress in her journal. I love that for Alexis so much. I was having her chat with um, Marcel again, who is the guy, I can't remember if she actually had a crush on him, I just saw him as attractive. 
she does have a crush on him and she sees him as attractive but great he was being a little bit mean to people in the last episode but maybe he was just like having a bad day because he's been nice to everyone today so i think we are gonna have a chat with him and get to know him a little bit prom is coming up of course at the moment she's not going with anyone to prom but that's fine she doesn't have to go with anyone to prom um, but Grace and Lyric have uh, gained a sentiment together. Okay, I really like these two. I really like these two. Also, um, Lyric is very flirty right now. Maybe she she likes Grace as well. That'd be pretty interesting. Um, so these three are just chatting. It looks like Blair came to join us. Um, Alexis, are you still talking with Marcel? Okay, I think he's heading off. I don't know if he'll be interested in her, but that's fine. She doesn't need to go to prom with anyone. Oh, he's literally calling her. He's literally just walked away and he's saying a sports game is on tonight. Let's go. Okay, yeah, you know what? Just go. Um, I feel like you just just go. She's like, I'm an adult now. I'm basically an adult. I've just finished my last day of school. I don't need to ask for permission. I'm just going to go. Um, so, yeah, she is just heading straight off to the sports game. And Grace is now crushing Blair. Oh, my gosh. She just likes everyone, honestly, who is also flirty. She also wants to become best friends. Luckily... Because of MC Command Center, I can have her have multiple best friends, so no one will get upset. But, you know, she's got her two best friends now. She's got Blair and Lyrica, her best friends. She's got good compatibility with Lyric, though. Um, and she sees her as extremely attractive. But we need to work on becoming friends with Kaylee, and I think Alison is the other one who we're not technically friends with yet. No. I think Kaylee's the only one we're not actually um, crushing on as well. <laughs> oh my gosh, now Lyric is messaging Grace, saying, hey, a bunch of us were going to check out that new action movie come out last weekend. We're going to sneak in and watch it tonight. Yeah, okay, she's definitely going to go. And again, I feel like she, even though she technically is younger than her sister, she doesn't see herself as younger. She sees herself as the same as Alexis. She's like, if Alexis can go out, then so can I. So she is also just going to go sneak out and we'll probably get teleported straight back home, considering no one else will be in this lot. But yeah, the, the two girls are sneaking out tonight without asking permission, which I feel like that fits their personalities. We are home and I have got Jasmine continue writing her book and she hasn't done this in a little while and I have been reminded by the pictures on the wall that I actually took some new family photos which I just love them I think they're so cute I do have the um I have Ravishin's photo mod um so it looks like canvas pictures but I just I love this we haven't taken family photos in so long and I thought this wall was very very boring um and I do think it's funny that when I put the wall down we can just see these two so I might swap these two photos over so that we can at least see the children um when the walls are down I forgot that um Grace does actually need to go to work um, so she is going to work from home and she needs to promote at a venue and I think this is going to work quite nicely. We'll do this tomorrow, I think, because are they still sneaking out or I don't know if they actually are sneaking out at the moment. I'm going to bring them both home, I think. Yeah, I think because I got teleported to the home lot, I don't think it actually registered. That's fine. Um, but I think tomorrow um in the day we might go to the park because i did place a well i technically built it wasn't it's not a very good build um but i did build a new park over here um with a tree house because we can't fit one on our home lot because they're just so big so i'm thinking maybe tomorrow in the day we can visit the park um scarlet can play chess and taylor could use the tree house and then grace can do the work that she needs to the so grace is just finishing her knitting project it looks like taylor's come to sit next to her and join her i love that i didn't realize they were so close but that's really sweet scarlet is doing her homework and it looks like alexis is um she's telling her a scary story or something but they've gained a sentiment which is cute she's told her about bella god's abduction amazing um alexis how are you doing at the moment she wants to go she wants to study art history at university, which I love that first story, but it's not going to happen. She wants to go streaking. It's a little bit too cold for that. And she does want to go to sleep. So I might just get her beads ready and then off to sleep because she does have a prom tomorrow, which she needs to get ready for. Jasmine is feeling a little bit um, bored because she's just sitting. And as much as she loves writing, she is feeling the need for a bit of exercise. So I might actually send her on a, a bit of a jog. Uh, apparently Scarlett and Alexis are jokesters. Yeah, after what's just happened, I like that for them. I've, I feel like all of my family dynamics are jokesters. I've not really got many others. I mean, I suppose these two are supportive, actually. Grace has finished her beanie and it's excellent quality. Oh, oh my gosh, I love that. She's going to list it on Plopsy. She is getting herself... Um, well, she's actually going to cook some food, apparently. I asked her to grab some food, but she decided she wanted to cook it. So fair enough, if that's what she wants to do. 
but she is first obviously going to list her um list her beanie on flopsy oh my gosh look at scarlet just playing in the snow this is absolutely adorable i didn't ask her to do this but i just find it so cute when they do like little autonomous things like this bless her alexis is up this morning and she is making herself some breakfast she also has a one to finish a painting so she might go and do that and she also wants to have a dream date so she actually isn't dating anyone at the moment but she is kind of interested in marcel so maybe we can like you know get chatting with him tonight um at prom but she does obviously age up tomorrow so i mean it's unlikely that she'll actually achieve this one but it's interesting to know what sort of like direction to take her she is interested in romance she does want to like see if there is anyone that she can date seriously alexis again you're not even in a bad mood i can't believe she just did that um okay come take out your anger on your painting upstairs express yourself that way i can't believe she's just constantly destroying this dollhouse i really feel for poor little scarlet oh my goodness alexis has just reached painting level 10 that's amazing from this interesting apple painting but she's managed to do it which i love that for her she is gonna list it on plopsy and check you out, Alexis. You should be so proud of yourself. Scarlett has once again decided to do her school project all on her own accord, which I love that for her. Um, Grace is actually up now and um, getting herself sorted. And then we are going to head to the park. Alexis has done another masterpiece. This is gorgeous. I do not want to sell this. Is there somewhere we can put this? Can we put this up on your wall as well? Um, I don't know if it really fits there, but I really like it. That is such a nice painting. Um, why don't you come and do an impressionist, medium impressionist painting? Grace is literally daydreaming about Lyric right now. That is that is amazing. Okay, yeah, I definitely ship her and Lyric together. Um, I will see if I can try and make that work. Her prom is next week, so we've got a week to try and, you know, see if we can get her in a relationship with Lyric. I think I think we can do that. I think we can do that. We have made it to the park, so I'm gonna have um I'm gonna have Taylor come and and just come and play it on the play on the treehouse i've not actually played this yet um with this so hopefully she can come over here and um play pretend go play pirates with your sister go see if you can go do that together i don't know if it will be oh my gosh lyric is asking grace to go to prom but we're not gonna go to prom i don't want her to feel hurt though so we will say of course um i can't believe she came all the way here to ask us to prom um, and it gave them a bit of romance, so she's definitely interested in her too. Um, that is a really interesting reaction. But we are going to then promise to skip prom together so that um, she doesn't get upset when we don't go to prom tonight. But oh my gosh, Lyric is definitely interested in us as well because that was a romantic. That wasn't us to go as friends. Um, yeah, she's agreed to ditch prom. Okay, so she won't feel bad that we're not going to go to prom. But I like that she's here with Thomas at the moment, you know just having a chat with him they do want to become friends with each other and then also we need to do our work thing let's class promote at venue there we go oh these two are just playing pirates that is so cute they are up here together doing their little pirate thing um in the tree house this is absolutely adorable is this gonna count for her but, oh she needs to she is playing pretend does she need to do it by herself um, I'll get her to do Space Explorer afterwards. Actually, no, let's not do Space Explorer. Let's do, let's do Island Castaway because that's a new thing. So I'm going to have her do that. And um, Scarlet, what do you fancy doing? Do you want to come play some chess? Go play some chess over here. Um, she's gonna, is she going to slide down the slide to get down? She is. Oh my gosh. Grace was able to do her job thing that she needed to. So I'm going to have her chat with Lyric and Thomas right now in a hope to... Um, increase her um what is it her charisma skill i know that if you um i know there's the ones with the little glasses on increase it but i don't know where they are now that they've all moved so i'm hoping just normal like friendly interaction interactions are gonna count as well i love that alexis and jasmine are just over here chatting and getting to know each other a bit more again and this park is pretty successful you know it's not as bad as i thought it was it's actually like a nice little hidden hidden park especially with all the snow it's really nice and it's quite busy over here i've also just realized as well but Alexis has her homework out so she doesn't even need to do her homework but she's getting ready to do it bless her and I think our other friend Blair I think that's Blair's um I've just noticed as well Grace's other friend Blair is over there um but I'm trying really hard to get her to become friends with Thomas it's just going up a little bit slow but that's that's fine Taylor how are you um she did what she needed to which is excellent why don't you what does enclosure mean oh you can sleep 
play just do the play so i think thomas and grace became friends because their wants to become friends are both now gone um it looks like grace is gonna come and sleep um oh to be fair she is a little bit tired so she's gonna go sleep in the tree house we have all arrived home now alexis is getting a little bit of a snack before she's got prom in a couple of hours i can't remember if it's at six or seven it's not actually on the calendar um so i'm really hoping that it works grace got her charisma to level two perfect you don't need to do that anymore i'm gonna let her you know have a bit of sleep we do need to work on her entrepreneur skill um so i think there are a few things that we can work on but i'm gonna let her sleep for a little bit and focus on alexis get ready for prom it's time for prom so we are gonna travel to the prom with just alexis today i'm so excited we have arrived at prom and look how gorgeous our lovely alexis is looking right now I am going to get her to come and vote for prom royalty. I think she's going to vote for Marcel because, you know, she is crushing on him a little bit. But look how absolutely stunning she's looking. This is my first time playing a prom for one of my Let's Plays and I am so very excited. She has just summoned over to do some dancing. You're going to have to ignore the fact that some of her... Uh, some of um, Grace's friends are here. You know, we're just going to pretend they're not here. They decided to come along um, and Grace was like, nah, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for my big senior prom. So why don't we talk to someone? Let's talk to Marcel. Let's come say hi. We're not going to like, you know, go straight in with a flirt at the moment. We'll, um, we'll just, you know, like ask about his love life and be like, oh, so did you come here with anyone today? Oh my gosh. I'm not someone actually just aging up a prom. Okay. Kennedy has just aged up a prom right now um so yes this is super cute i don't think i can vote for prom royalty for some reason i'll have to have a look into this maybe i'll try voting for someone else let's vote for Corey marshall instead and see if that works but i don't want to spend the whole time you know like trying to get this one thing ticked off when i could do other things but she's just chatting with chat with uh, marcel at the moment and this person is just dancing by themselves oh my gosh um, Grace did a good job at work today. Amazing, it's so proud of you. Alexis has been able to go do a vote. So she is going to come over here and vote for this other person who I forgot who it is now. Um, but why don't you come and take a photo? Let's just take a friendly photo with Marcel, I think. Um, we will, because it is something she wants to do and it is something she can use here. Um, and she does want to get to know him just a little bit more anyway. So we'll see if he wants to, you know, take a photo. He's feeling a bit tense. She's like, come on, let's go loosen up. Let's go take a photo together. These two are going to go in the photo booth and get a nice friendly photo together. She is feeling a little bit flirty. So maybe we'll see if he wants to flirt a little bit with us. We'll see if we can uh, dance together. Look, you hear her like giggling in there. That is so cute. Yeah, she is definitely still feeling a little bit flirty. So maybe we will drop him a little bit of a flirt. Um, let's just, you know, just, yeah, just casual flirt with him, maybe compliment his appearance. He's feeling a bit uncomfortable. I think it's a bit cold in here. I should probably put a thermostat in here, actually. She wants to give him a massage and their flirting is actually going well. So, you know, I think they're going to go for this. I think we might give him a bold pickup line. Um, see if he wants to take things a little bit further, exchange numbers with him. I don't know. It's a suggested conversation and he is accepting the flirt. He seems pretty, pretty interested. He is feeling flirty. Oh my gosh, I love that. We'll definitely come and try and do a slow dance with him, I think. Oh, I love this. Grace's friends have won a prom court. That's amazing. We don't really care though, to be honest. But let's see if he wants to come and do a sweetheart dance together. Oh, look at them. They're doing their lovely little slow dance together. They're sweetheart dancing. Bless them. This is so cute. Look at this. Oh, perfect. Alexis just looks so happy. And given how, like, kind of stressful and unenjoyable her high school experience was, I love that she can end up on such, like, a positive note with a good prom and actually, you know, flirting and dancing with a guy that she had a bit of a crush on. This is just so cute. Grace is just going to go and grab a drink. And then she needs to go and do a bit more dancing. We've got about an hour and a half left of prom. Um, so I think she's having a good time. We've currently got a silver, silver medal, which is great. We're not doing it for like an achievement, but look at how happy she is. Bless her. Should we take a romantic photo with Marcel as well? See if he'll accept a, a romantic one now that we've been flirting with him. We got a friendly one. Let's see if he wants to take a romantic photo at all. I think they're going to go in and take a lovely little romantic photo together. Oh, look at her. That is so sweet. I wonder if we can get enough romance to, um 
do you know have our first kiss with him maybe we might reveal our crush i feel like this is the perfect opportunity to be like look i've been crushing on you for a little bit and it's made my night that you know you like me back and she's giving a hug and i would really love to see if we could maybe unlock that um unlock the first kiss interaction we can we can have our first kiss oh my gosh okay i'm gonna get the camera ready for this so she can give her oh no oh my gosh no oh my gosh then he gives her a high five okay yeah let's stop talking with him right now um i'd say he kind of led her on a little bit there she likes funny sims okay great i mean that was going so well and then he was like yeah no i'm not giving you a kiss no i can't believe that um Okay, let's keep this party going. Yes, okay, let's go. We're just gonna head and see whoever comes along with us. Can't believe he rejected her first kiss. That is so embarrassing, that's so awkward. Everyone has changed into slightly warmer clothes. I'm gonna say they brought a change of clothes with them and I'm kind of glad that, you know, we don't have um, Marcel here with us. Audrey just embarrassed us like that. Um, so I'm gonna have Grace, Alexis quickly, scope the surroundings and see if there's anyone else that she might like instead. Um, no, she, oh, she does. Okay. Oh, she likes, um, she likes Alison and that other girl. So, I mean, her sister's crushing on Alison, but her sister's crushing on everyone. So I think we might come over and say hi to Alison just because she's looking cute. Give her a bold pickup line because after the embarrassment that was, I feel like she's like, I just want to distract myself, you know, see if anyone else can maybe, you know, want to, want to flirt with me instead. She's now got a crush on Alison. Excellent. Can't believe Marcel has just rejected her like that um so i think we are gonna just get a little bit flirty with allison this is purely a kind of a romantic thing as opposed to a, a you know a friend friend thing it's just a bit of attention i think she needs after that rejection i can't believe that she is feeling flirty as well and we've got good compatibility so i think i can't believe that i can't get over that i am so gutted i guess i guess marcel being mean well, should have been the red flag that i noticed before um, but, you know, let's go rom ride a romantic ride with Alison. See if she wants to go do that. Alexis is getting a little bit tired. And despite everything, she is still feeling pretty confident. So she knows it's not her. It's Marcel that is the problem. <laughs> She's not got a problem with herself. But she is going to go and ride um, ride on the romantic ride with Alison. Who I think was she was from Queen, was she? From royalty. So... You know, Alexis is the one who's landed here. The stars have aligned and Alexis takes her crush on the cuddle cart, where all good relationships begin. The lighting, the music, the employee awkwardly standing in the corner, changing a light bulb. Everything the beginning of a budding romance needs. The time has come. Does Alexis take the first step and attempt to start romance or does she take it easy and keep it casual? This is her last night as a teenager. She is going for it. She is going to try and be romantic. And we have lost romance. Okay, things don't go as well as Alexis would have liked. Apparently being asked to avocado while holding an avocado isn't as romantic as the internet said it would be. Alison politely laughs and scoots towards the opposite side of the car. The employee in the corner shakes their head and gives a thumbs down in response to the bad joke. No avocadoing in the cuddle cards for Alexis this time. Poor Alexis. What awful luck. Okay, I tried. I tried my best. Um, so her and Alison, she's got a crush on her. She sees her as attractive. Um, but I guess, I guess that's what you have to try to make a move on your sister's friends. It's not gonna, not gonna work. Okay, I, I guess we're gonna call it a night. It's 3am and it is her birthday in the morning. We will be aging her up pretty much straight away in the morning, I think, and then maybe having a party in the evening in the next episode. But for now, let's, okay, she's gonna order some food. I'll let her order the food and eat it and then we will, then we'll head home. Most of the family are awake this morning. Jasmine is just making some eggs and toast for everyone and then she is gonna make Alexis a birthday cake. Alexis is sleeping in because she had a very, very late night, but that's fine. We will, as I say, just just have her maybe we should invite over dominic you know maybe we should invite him over to kind of extend the olive branch is that the phrase i think it is <laughs> just to kind of like make peace and it is it is her big birthday she is literally becoming a young adult so we're not gonna throw a big party we are gonna celebrate tonight um but i think it'd be nice to invite him over for her actual like birthday celebration so we'll have her invite her dad over when she wakes up we have still got a little bit of a time um grace is feeling really really tense right now because she's got some acne but 
she is actually also just too tense to do anything about the acne which is great so she is gonna come and grab some food and probably watch a little bit of tv to hopefully you know help calm her down a bit i was gonna have her knit but i think she's a bit too tense to even knit right now no way absolutely not marcel has invited himself over and asked alexis to be his girlfriend after the way he treated us last night she is gonna say no she is literally in bed right now he has snuck into the house and said no um accuse him of moving moving too fast after he rejected her last night um and then i think can and we can't even like break up with him so i think we're just gonna ask to be friends um because we're not even officially dating so we can't like amicably split up i don't think um, so we're just gonna try and well, I'm gonna try and find we're gonna apologize be like look I'm really sorry, but you embarrassed me last night um, And I don't think I can be with someone who can't be with me in public, you know Whether that's what he meant or not. I don't know But she is gonna try and ask to be friends if I can find where this option actually will be I can't find it anywhere. I can't find it anywhere at all We are gonna discuss our embarrassing mood though and tell him how we are a little bit embarrassed about how it, things went down and he did embarrass us Oh, okay. No, they don't actually have any romance after she said that anyway. But she is apologising um, because I don't think she wants to, like, have things end poorly. Um, but we are going to ask him to leave now. And I guess it's an excuse for her to get up this morning. She wants to paint a mural. Fair enough. But we are going to say goodbye. We're not going to pressure him to conform. Um, but that's such a shame because things could have gone in such a different direction. Had he not embarrassed us last night? Um, but I'm thinking I'm going to invite Dominic over now and have her, you know, get dressed, get ready for her birthday. So let's have her get sorted and have you finished the cake? Here we go. This is a gorgeous little custom cake that we've made. So can we come and put some birthday candles on so that nobody eats the cake? Look how nice it looks. This I just thought it was a really nice like colour scheme for Alexis. Everyone has made it and we're all gathered in the kitchen ready for Alexis to blow out her candles. Everyone is celebrating. Our dad is here and I love how our two of our sisters are still literally in their pyjamas. But it's time for Alexis to age up. So here we go. Let's see what trait I should give her. I kind of want to give her the ambitious trait, you know? Like, because she tried really hard with her aspiration. And then once she decided she wanted to work harder um, at school, she did pull up, like, pull it out of the bag a little bit. I know she didn't do too good in her exam, but she didn't fail. And she pulled her grades up. I think she should get the ambitious trait. And I am going to stick with the painter extraordinaire. And she has managed to graduate, which is so exciting. Let's look at adult Alexis over here. I mean, she looks the exact same, but she does look a little bit older. She looks so cute. Um, and now that you're a young adult, Alexis will not be in custody of a parent anymore. So let the parent who did not have custody of her, okay? I don't know what that was all about. Um, but she managed to get her diploma. Oh, she did it. Bless her. Oh, I love that for you, Alexis. Why don't you come and grab a slice of your birthday cake? Oh my gosh. Did she get any bonus traits as well? I don't think she did. She didn't, but that's fine. She's having a chat with her mom. Bless her. Oh, we've got Alexis is a young adult. Why are you here again, Marcel? Marcel, leave. You must be best friends. No, go away. Take no for an answer. We're an adult now. You're you're still acting like a child. <laughs> I think on this note, I am going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you did enjoy this part. In the next episode, we will actually be celebrating Alexis's birthday later in the day. Um, so make sure you tune in for that one. If you did enjoy this episode though, make sure to leave a like and comment down below and let me know what you think. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. It means so much to me and I will speak to you all in another video. Bye everyone.